What's up, everybody? Welcome, Winter 2024, uh, Team Wilpers, Training Block Challenge. Lots of new folks signing up. So uh, for all of you new people, I'm Coach Greg Wagoner. Welcome. Um, I'm quick bio. I was a personal trainer and a cycling coach in in New York City since about 1995. In uh, 2012, I stopped racing my bike. Man, I, I was busy racing from about 1999 till 2012. I raced mountain bikes. I raced uh, road bikes. I raced, uh, recently I've raced gravel bikes. If it had two wheels, I would race it. Um, since 2012, I've done a handful of events every year, including recently gravel gravel bikes. And uh, that's about it. Riding my, my mountain bike around Vermont. And mostly I'm just training to be a fit person as I get older. I just turned 53 uh, last week. Oh, my gosh. How did that happen? 53. I know there are uh, older people who have signed on. I saw your names, Linda, Fred. Uh, guys, man, I am just in your tail trying to trying to keep up as, as we get older. I think we can do it, though, right? Um, so uh, anyway, I was a, a coach along the way, became a cycling coach along the way, uh, and and uh, had a lot of fun training and racing with our friend Matt, and uh, just so a lot of good experience there. And now I do this full time. I I uh, am a remote coach, and I'll tell you more about the coaching part. But I run this huge Team Wilpers Cycling program that I'm about to tell you about. So the tech part of it, how do we deliver the training is uh, is through a portal. You will get an email every week and you can log into the portal on teamwilpers.com and, uh, and see what the schedule is every week. Really important to mark the boxes in that portal after you do your workouts, okay? Uh, we do a, a consistency check. And so that's just the accountability tool. And that's really the, all there is to it. We don't check and make sure you're doing your rides or uh, anything further, and there is no uh, analysis component at this level. So, also, there's a number of different plans. If you do go up a level to the all access, there are a few choices, and you can make it harder, and you can make it easier, and you can uh, choose to add strength. And I don't remember if you can still add running or or rowing. But what I suggest though is if you are all access to choose a cycling either three, four, or five days and strength. That is a really nice combination. If you can do the team Wilfer strength, that's a great way to go. The strength coaches, uh, we have Ryan and, uh, and Ava, I believe, are, are awesome. The plans are good. And, uh, and also the Peloton strength is a good way to go. So a nice combination to, to have that. So What's free though? So there, there. This is a free program. You can sign up and do the core programming, and it's awesome. I'm going to tell you about it in a little bit. It is a well thought out plan, uh, not just made up on the spot. But um, you could do the the all access, which gives you a few more choices, and you can make it harder or easier depending on where you are, what your specific life situation is. If you need to uh, to to take a break or or you can go in and out of it easier if if that makes sense. The next level up then is a lot of people don't know about this, but I do a uh, program called Step Up Coaching, and right now I just have one team that uh, that I started with a few months ago. And y'all can can say who you are or not. I'll leave that up to you. But man, what fun it is to work with a team of five or six people in a more intimate setting, and uh, they get the whole Training Peaks account and the the uh, I look in on their on their stuff, so the ana the analytic component comes in, and we can really make some changes to whatever plan it is that they're working on, set goals, achieve them, uh, and then I I work with uh, private clients, private coaching clients as well. So that's kind of all of the levels, and there are people in this training group right now that are on all of those levels. So I don't want anybody to have the stigma that that uh, private training is not for you. It's for everybody, and we have awesome coaches uh, to to take you on if if uh, if you're interested, or if you just want to learn about it. Let me know. Hit me up. Anyway, back to the big team. Okay, you are all training on a team, and how do we do that? Well, that's through this Facebook group. Okay, 
in the Facebook group. We support each other as a team. Here's five things, a little bit of organization. Um, and Chris Miller, I'm gonna <laughs> give you full, full, full kudos for, for helping me get organized. But five things to look for on a weekly basis in the Facebook group are number one, the weekly briefings right here. That's yours truly. Uh, we talk about what's happening each week and what, uh, what the, the program is gonna be, a weekly topic, um, and a number of other things. Uh, so the weekly briefings, Thursday nights, 6 p.m., look for those. I do, uh, well, I don't do it. Chris Miller actually does a daily post, post your graph, okay? So after you do your, your ride, get in there and then put it under the post that says daily graph. So today would be Thursday, post your graph. Post up a picture or a, a screenshot of your, of your graph. People use M pace line to get a graph after they've done a ride. Uh, and, and even more importantly, get in there and like other people's graphs or even better, make a comment. How cool is it to get a little bit of validation, you know? Uh, five people saying, awesome ride, Greg, makes, I, I'm, I'm set for a month. Are you kidding me? I will never stop. Um, especially when it gets hard in a few weeks. Uh, the, the, the uh, schedule's gonna, gonna bump up a little bit. We're all gonna need a little validation, so. Second, uh, third, so weekly briefings, daily posts, and uh, how about weekly topics? So every week I'm gonna try and have a weekly topic of conversation and we'll make a post and it'll tie into the briefings. Uh, I'll talk about that in a little bit, but they are conversations. You can ask questions there. You can answer questions there. Thank you everybody to contributing for those. Sometimes I get in there and there's uh, some really, I won't say better answers than others, but some answers move me to ask for a hat to be sent to you. So some swag can head your way for, for contributing in that, uh, in that weekly topic. Also, I uh, try weekly to do an athlete spotlight. So top contributors, uh, top contributors of the overall Facebook group, there's a big list of them and I've had so much fun getting to know you all. So once a week I will hit somebody up, try and record a, a podcast-like talk and share it all with you so you can get to know each other. So those have been awesome. Um, look for one next week, in fact. Uh, a weekly win, another thing Chris posts is a weekly win on Friday. So it's important to give yourself credit. If you have to look really hard, it shouldn't be that hard. You should be able to find something that is uh, a weekly win for you, whether it was being consistent, whether it was, even if it's not bike related, if it was job related or you spoke up for yourself or whatever it is, if you've got something, share it with the group. And I think other people can relate to that and y'all can relate to each other in that way. Um, I think it's easy for us to be hard on ourselves and important to remember the positive sometimes. Um, all right, so also uh, look out for the new member posts and say hello to the new people as they join. That's, that's important. Uh, I think also on that new member post, there is a document that explains a lot about how the program works. So we tried to put a lot of the, the info there, but uh, watch out for the new members and say hello and get them in and get them involved and share these, these posts with them. And finally, thank you, Chris Miller, who helps me do a lot of these posts and keep things organized in the Facebook group. But look out for those things on a weekly basis. Um, so, all right, I think that explains the tech and the team component. What are we doing starting January 1st? Well, the winter, what is it called? The winter challenge or something. I don't remember the specific name of it. Sorry about that. But what I call it is a winter training block. Winter 2024. It's a training block because it's part of an annual plan. Okay. We are doing a big, long training plan thought out throughout the whole year. This particular eight week training schedule is a part of, of a building. It's a building block that we are, we're building the fitness. Okay. So we're gonna start with the foundation and then build the walls and then peak. And we're gonna build two of those. So we're gonna peak twice. And uh, there is some periodization here. If you've heard that, that term, there is some base build, some base sections. There's a build section and a, and a prep or a peak section. Uh, in fact, I have, for me, the challenge 
actually doing an event or doing a uh, a hard ride or an FTP test or something that you put on the calendar that you train for and then execute. That's the challenge. And I'm giving two dates right now, May 18th and October 5th. If you follow along with me throughout the year, those are dates that you could put something on the calendar. It doesn't have to be a race. It doesn't have to be a scheduled event. Just go out and ride. Uh, I'm suggesting a metric century, but if that doesn't work, which it certainly won't for everybody, but how about go out and ride for the first time or ride inside, make it up. You guys are all different. Uh, but those dates are going to be good, good times. If you're following the, the arc of the, of the, of the training schedule that we're going to present. So, um, those would be good dates. You could do an FTP test. You could do a lot of different things. So speaking of FTP tests, it's uh, it's probably a good time to test here. We got January 1st coming up and uh, beginning of the new year, beginning of a new training schedule. Probably if you haven't done it recently, it's time to do a, a dreaded FTP test or a uh, an excited FTP test. Maybe you haven't done it for a while and you've really been training and, and you're due for one, but you could also do, people have talked about a ramp test. Uh, we're not we're not giving those uh, officially, but uh, if you do it, it is welcome. And, and or um, if, you're, if your zones are dialed and you don't really need to test, try the, the Power Zone Max, um, the, the Power Profile test that, that, uh, that Matt did in a Max ride. So look, look, through, look back through the posts here or, or hit up uh, post stuff if you don't know what I'm talking about. That, uh, that power profile ride is good for testing your five second, your one minute, your five minute maximums in addition, in addition to knowing your, uh, your 20 minute, those are good numbers. So make a note of them, keep them for later, uh, maybe in, in eight weeks or so, not day after day, Linda, in eight weeks, try it again and see, see how much you've, uh, you've improved. Okay. Uh, another thing I recommend is that you, uh, on, on, let's say on a Sunday ride, on a nice, easy Sunday ride where we're going 80%, 70%, take, uh, get, get a note of your average heart rate. Okay. That's a good idea. Or just on a, uh, something you can repeat that's fairly easy. Zone two, low zone three. Note what your heart rate is and, uh, and keep that in mind for comparison for a later date. All right. So what is week one of this, uh, of this coming? Uh, week one, we are Monday, a bunch of PZE tests, uh, a bunch, yes, a bunch of PZE workouts, uh, just like the last week of the frosty training block. So Monday is, I'm going to call 85% and 70%, or you're doing your FTP test. Okay. Uh, so zone three, that, what that means zone three, I want you to hit 85% of FTP zone two. I want you to hit 70% of FTP. And uh, I'll explain a little bit more about that and the timers in a second. Wednesday, I want you to do the same thing, 85% and 70%. Okay, the schedule is out. You have the specific classes. The dates are are uh, in the portal and in your email. Thursday is a, a recovery ride. So I ask for a lower intensity. Zone three, take it to 80%. And zone two, take it to 70%. Half an hour ride. Okay, it's a, it's a quick one. Um, Saturday, go to 85% and 70%. It's a one hour ride. Sunday, we go to 80% and 70% half hour ride. Okay. Those are all there if you follow the timers, but if you've been working with me for a while or following along Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday are the key rides. Okay. Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, treat those as 85 and 70 and the other days are 80 and 70. That's for this week. It will go up from there. If you're familiar with uh, TSS or training stress score, this week's training stress is a 199. So it's a nice low entry point, but uh, we are going up from here. And there are, I believe if you're all access, there are harder harder options. So if you're used to a little bit more, then, then go ahead and take it. Those half hour rides become 45 minutes, I believe. And uh, you can get your 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 proper strain in. So uh, timers, I do provide timers in there. And what those are is in an app called the seconds app, you can uh, click the links and it should give you a, a nice way to 
to follow along the structure that I want. And you could actually play any class you want or do a just ride or whatever. Uh, they do not follow the classes. So please be aware if you're using the timers, they are close, but they do not follow the, the classes. So if you're playing the class and using the timer, you might be a, a little bit off here and there, but I've picked through every interval of those rides and made it so I could deliver it in a way that I feel comfortable and uh and happy with so the the timers i like the timers uh the, the classes are awesome the instructors are awesome the timers are well thought out and thank you to jill wood who helps me build those timers and deliver them in a more efficient way um all right cool so goal setting what are we doing this for what do we want to accomplish well last week i had everybody reflect on the whole 2023 season and think about what worked and what didn't work as far as training now that can easily translate into competing and life and work and families and everything training wise what worked and what didn't and there was a lot of real there were a lot of really good answers in a post so dozens of comments uh, look back in the in the I think it is in the in the featured at the top um, in the Facebook group. Go ahead and look for that and add to it. Let's keep that going. What worked? What didn't work? And that should lead you to start thinking of what do you want to uh, what do we want to do in the upcoming season and uh, start setting down some goals. So goals can be goals can be process. They could be event or they could be outcome. So process, uh, I wanna train three days a week and I wanna be consistent, that's a process. Event, I wanna train for the, the Hincapi Fondo and I wanna make it up this one big hill without getting off my bike, that's an event. Outcome, uh, I want my FTP to go up, I want my weight to come down, I want uh, to be strong enough to bench press a certain thing, you know, a certain number for an outcome of, uh, of an adaptation. So what makes this month a success? What makes this training block a success? And even bigger, what makes this year a success? So what do we want to do? Uh, start making some notes and we will have a, a weekly post of weekly topic of what are your goals? What's going to make this successful? And we'll talk about this for a couple of weeks. Okay, so uh, take your time, but but think of some specific things um also start thinking about the events may 18th october 5th um also when are you going to take time off when to challenge yourself when to back off okay get get some thought going into this season this year and uh and get it all together so last topic is as we're starting a new year new season bike fit you gotta make sure your bike fits if you're riding a bike that is not set up properly for you you're risking injury and and uh long-term imbalances it's uh and you're losing efficiency so the bike fit the team wilpers bike fit crew is awesome amazing and actually they're uh they've been tasked to to help me deliver this this uh program to you all so beginning a new year if it's been a while schedule a bike fit if you can i know they're they're hard to get a hold of hard to track down so uh, i've already reached out to them i do want to do a a podcast type talk with the four of us and maybe we can squeak out some some uh we need to to squeak out some some tips and how we can set our bikes properly i'm gonna have brian fit me he lives here in vermont and uh i can take my mountain bike over over to him personally and have him do it so uh that is the the spiel for tonight i believe we are on our way the schedule is out you have your programming follow the follow the rides follow the timers uh however it works for you please um be careful and if anything hurts don't keep going but uh man let's get after it this let's get after it this season so all right thank you everybody happy new year talk to you soon